Hey, how you guys doing this time? H up back with another review. This week I am reviewing for you guys Driller Killer. It was released in 1979. I'm sorry guys, I got a cold. That's why I am sniffling and stuff. My sinuses are acting up. However, Driller Killer was released in 79. It was put on the Video Nasties list because of the front cover of the box. It wasn't released in the UK, I believe, until 2002. However, it was written, directed, and starred Abel Ferrara, who went under the name of Jimmy Lane and played Reno Miller, who was a struggling painter who lived in an apartment complex with his two girlfriends, Pamela and Carol. Carol played by Carolyn Mars, also known as Carolyn Slaughter. Pamela played as Baby Day. Now, in this apartment complex, they have a band called the Roosters that move in right below them. And they play to all hours of the night. They're terrible. This band, I don't like them. I don't know what you guys think about them. Let me know below the comments. Just let me know what you guys think. I don't like them personally. But this band drives Reno crazy. You know, it slowly but surely drove him crazy. And the painting he was doing was for his boss, who gave him a deadline of a week to finish it because he's been putting it off so much and borrowing money off this guy left and right, okay? So his boss gives him a week to finish the painting. The painting, you have a sense that the painting is kind of driving him crazy as well. You know, there's points in the movie where you see the eye of whatever it is. It's a buffalo, just let you know. Um, you see the eye staring at him, kind of. And then he goes into visions of him covered in blood. It doesn't show you from the neck down what he's doing. But when you see the movie, if you've seen the movie, I think you know. Um, there's a lot of nudity in this movie. Um, the movie isn't for everybody. Let me, let me just put that out there. This movie is not for everyone. Um, horror fans will appreciate it. Real horror fans will appreciate it. If you're not into horror that much, I'd stay away from it. It's a rental at best. Um, unless you're a horror fan, I wouldn't go out and pay 20 bucks for this movie. I wouldn't. If you get it on a deal, go ahead and pick it up. Especially if you're a horror fan. Unless you're a collector and you just want it, I'd pay the 20 bucks. But, um... The movie goes on and he starts killing people with a power tool, a drill. Okay? He just starts killing random homeless people. And the story I get from it, he's killing homeless people and not the people he should be. Like, you know, in the movie you, you would think that he would be killing you know, his two girlfriends and the Roosters, which is the band that lives below him because they play in all hours of the night and drive him nuts. You, you would think he would be killing those people. But no, he's killing homeless people at night time. You know, during the day, he's cool, calm, and collective. And he has moments of snaps. But then at night time, you know, he's serial killer, driller killer. You know what I mean? Um, the kills aren't the greatest. But what do you expect for that time period, right? For the time period, they were great. Let me give you that. For the time period, these, this was... I hear a lot of people, a lot of people saying this movie was not original. Why not? Tell me why not. In the comments below, let me know why it's not original. 1978, 79, it was released. How many movies in 79, by 79, do you know of that was like this movie? How many? How many movies was like this? If you can give me a list of movies, you let me know. Because I'm telling you, this movie was original for its time. Now, today's standards, no. This movie is not original by any means. And I'm hoping they do not remake it. Okay? Although, I've heard rumors. Just to, just to get you out there. If you guys know of any remakes, let me know in the comments below. Because I really... I, I don't see anybody else in this time period playing Reno Miller like Ferrara did. Okay? I just don't see it. And Platinum Dunes is probably going to be the ones to do it. I hope not. But hey, you know what? If they do, I just hope it's a good remake. I just don't think it should be remade. It's a classic. It's a video nasty. Don't remake this movie. Because it'll be, it'll have a PG title. We all know that. It'll be PG-13. It won't be rated R. This movie had so much nudity in it. You know, the curtains. If you watch this movie and you notice the shower curtains. The shower curtains are naked women. Boobies. 
That's what the shower curtains are. Boobies, okay? Boobies. If they remade it today, it'd be Elmo. Tickle Me Elmo or some flower scenes. Don't remake this movie, please. That has been your update for this week. I will be back. I just got the right version of Neighbor in the mail. I watched it last night. I'll be putting a video up for it soon. Sub, rate, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.